So Belle, how do you feel about your first experiences of Blissfield's Festival? How are you enjoying Blissfield so far? It's lovely. It's very hot. It's very, very hot. A bit hot for the kids, but they're enjoying it so far. Belle's got a fish hook t-shirt on. Ted. How's Blissfield going, Nelly? Blissfield is really good so far. Have a lot of drink. I'm just chilling out, waiting for Dom to turn up with some more beer. Right then we're going to go in and have a walk yeah, around really and see some more bands. Ali? I'm drinking a lot. I'm sitting in the sun. That's about it, really. <laughs> Simon? Cool. First impressions of Blissfield? Uh, grassy. It smells quite nice. Burgers and such. Sausages! <laughs> Catalina, sausage. what do you think of Blissford so far? It's hot. It is hot. Sausages! <laughs> They've got an Angry Birds coconut shop. There. <laughs> Rob's got his straw. <laughs> James, how are you feeling? Quite pass out on that. <laughs> Enjoy it? Yes. Wicked. Good. Rob, yeah. thoughts? That's a good set, really good set, and I'm looking forward to eating everything. Uh, but not right now, now I need a beer and a little walk around in the sunshine. I've got my civvies on, so uh, you know, public don't recognise me. <laughs> Simon! What's your thoughts after the set? Uh, I was thinking that uh, you were going to go and work for me now. No. Ross, you're going to have to shout over the music. What's that set was awesome. Awesome. We stepped it up a notch when we needed to and we rocked it. Hi. What's your thoughts, Rachel? Uh, we nailed it, obviously. Up, I got, and I got to play without my shoes on because I'm so rock and roll. I was wondering what smelled on stage. <laughs> What's your band? Uh, my band is called Fish Hook. Why do you come to Blissfields every year it's on? Um, because it's a really nice festival and it's sunny and the atmosphere is good. Has it ever rained at Blissfields? Not so far as I've been here. My beard is so long because I'm Welsh and therefore I have Celtic blood running through my veins. <laughs> it takes me one week to grow that kind of beard. Like a really budget version of Teen Wolf. <laughs> go on, James. Do the dance. Everybody's <laughs> surfing, <laughs> surfing USA. Do, 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 do. James, tell me where to stop. I can't remember where it is. Okay. It's the one that should really should belong to a woman because it actually does. Yeah. Oh, um. Don't hit it. That's my only rule. 
Where the thinking. hell did you park? Um, <laughs> back there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so this, this is Simon's car and currently he has locked his keys in the boot. They're off trying to sort it out, but uh, we should probably take a look as we're here. So, as you can see, the window is open, but not even my girly hands are small enough to fit in. The keys are somewhere in the boot here, um, but we're not sure where. They're just off trying to find security to help them break into a car, which is something they're normally trying to avoid, but today it seems like it's worth it. How do you feel, Rachel, about the fact that Simon has locked his keys in the car? I think it's a douche. Ross, what are your thoughts on that? What a numpty. So what's happened here is Simon has locked his keys in his car. He is going to attempt to break in. How confident are we? Not very. Ow! Jesus, that was tough. the candy floss man well, it, it was sponge sugar I mean it was really really tasty but what do you want me to say it was candy floss there's not it, it, basically you're taking just sugar and wrapping it round a stick so you've really got to do something terrible to make it taste bad however as far as candy floss went it was very nice and we got raspberry flavour yeah. raspberry yeah it how about was, the experience nice. of being able to do it well yourself? Nat made it Nat, explain how that went uh, yeah it went really well I made it myself just twizzle the stick and then show me that twizzle motion Jigsaw. is going to consist of me just videoing this attempt here. Oh my god! You're doing great, Rach. I'm failing badly. So for. I mean, actually, this is this is the, like the third thing I've eaten today. Uh, but you know, the cameras weren't on hand for the other stuff. We went to original fry-up material, which is basically in an ambulance because uh, the burgers are a little more expensive. But they they're selling them with actual plastic burger cheese rather than cheddar. Fuck off! I don't want cheddar on burger and burger sauce. It actually looks pretty good. So um, Bertie got a couple of hash browns there to go with it. Controversial choice. And here we have. The burger itself seems a lot more agreeable than the uh, the offerings. It looks pretty good. From some of the other places that I've seen on site, so we're gonna we're gonna try it now. Um, but I watched the guy make it, and he's obviously someone who's about as pretentious as I am. You know, he was very like, oh, do this, scoop this, uh, do this, bit of this on the burger. It's like none of this like fucking kebab shop crap that's going on over there. Slightly pink in the middle. It's supposed to be rare breed aged beef. It actually, it might actually, that might actually not be bullshit. Fucking hell. That's really good. Take one. <laughs> mm. burger three. Original fry up material. Lock down your area and your arteries. Apparently, the best burger at Blissfords. Let's get close up. Made with Handmade a muffin. Rare breed aged steak. Yum, Even yum, a muffin yum. is still great. Thanks, Tom and John.
Every single food stand of this entire festival is. I am prepared. <laughs>